To introduce our next inductee, please welcome Chris Riddell. Good evening. First of all, I would like to congratulate all the inductees tonight. And Laurie Langrell, he was a great guy to have on your team. Laurie was raised in Warren and started to play organized baseball there at the age of 13. At the age of 16, he played some games for the Warren Seniors. He played also with Warren Juveniles. In 1957, the Juveniles beat Columbus Club for the City Juvenile Championship. The deciding game went 17 innings. Langrell had five hits and stole, th stole third base five times. Then he, he played two years with Warren Juniors in the Winnipeg Junior League and two years in the Parochial League. Next, he joined Belmont Orioles in the Winnipeg Senior League, and he also played in the Senior League two years with Warren. Laurie's best year with the Orioles was in 1967, when he was both league batting champion and most valuable player. He hit 407 and stole 25 bases. Later, he played with Stowell in the Winnipeg Senior League and with Warren in the Interlake League. He was also an excellent hockey player and a member of the 1959 Winnipeg Braves. The last team from Manitoba to win the Memorial Cup. He was a great guy to play with. He, we always had him batting number four because he was such a good hitter. And we really enjoyed the time we had together. Thank you. First cousin, you know. <laughs> he wasn't the last, there was about six of us. All first cousins. Warren, little Warren, Warren, Manitoba, on number six highway. All there was to do in Warren if you were a young boy was to play ball uh, because it was so small, but it was always a good sporting town. And uh, I can recall, uh, we thought we were pretty good at times, uh, but we came to Morden two years in a row and we were going home by noon. <laughs> so we weren't so good. <laughs> My cousin Chris, who just spoke, he he was a great ball player too. He came, he played down in the U.S. in, in the semi-pro league, see? Uh, Chris did. Uh, Left-hander, uh, very, very good ball player. And his, uh, his, uh, his cousin, or his brother, Gordy Riddell, was the catcher that caught 17 innings in a row for the pitcher by the name of John Paul, to, uh, and it, it propelled us to beat the, uh, the team from the city, which we were in the city league. And um, the pitcher was fantastic. He, he pitched 17, a man by the name of John Paul. Right? And he went down into the U.S. to play semi-pro ball, too, for a couple of years. But getting away from that, I would like to thank the museum board for tonight's um, um, evening. It was a wonderful evening, and this is a great place. And I can tell you, I coached uh, the Morden Bombers for two years, and I used mostly uh, Morden players. We played in the Southeastern League, and uh, uh, I had a great bunch of kids, and uh, so anyway, I was getting off baseball a bit, but um, uh, baseball was always important to me. We went to ball tournaments all over the province, eh? 
and um, um, and I made many friends. I made many friends over the uh, over the years that I played. I I would look forward at the beginning of the week to uh, to see what there was a ball, ball tournament to go to. Uh, I want to thank my family and relatives for coming out today to support me. They're down here. Um, it's been a great evening. And I've been away from Morden for four or five years. And I can't get over how this town has grown in the last four or five years. It's fantastic. And this is, more than someday will be a, a, a quite a large place, there's no doubt. Uh, there's a couple of, we, there's a couple of, uh, of our cousins again uh, that are having health problems and they aren't here tonight, they couldn't make it. But they were a big part of the team too. So, I'd like to thank the, uh, the board members for uh, creating this baseball uh, museum. And you really have something going here, believe me. More than people should know that. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a 15-minute break.